A total of $1,059 will be distributed to all SSI recipients who are also receiving supplemental security income. A recipient of SSI watching this video is of utmost significance to you. An increase of $1,059 per month in SSI benefits is the goal of the standalone bill that is currently being considered in Congress. This SSI increase has been the moment that has been anticipated for a very long time, and at long last we are witnessing some actions taking place right here. In conclusion, gentlemen, without further ado, let us discuss all of the pertinent information. What exactly does this imply for you, your benefits, and the SSI checks that you receive each month? However, before we begin, I want to remind you all to give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more updates. Now, let's get right into the specifics. Okay, guys, now I'll tell you a little bit about the history of this situation. At the moment, recipients of Social Security income who are married are subject to a reduction in their benefits in comparison to those who are not married. In addition, this is what is commonly referred to as the penalty, which has been subjected to widespread criticism and is regarded as an outmoded policy for those who receive SSI benefits. In light of the fact that it has a disproportionate impact on married couples who are dependent on fixed income benefits such as SSI, lawmakers have voiced their support for the elimination of this financial penalty. Those who choose to get married are subjected to an unnecessary burden because of the marriage penalty. If the marriage penalty were eliminated, it would lead to a significant increase in the benefits that are provided to Social Security recipients who will make sure this modification would significantly improve the financial situation of married couples who are having difficulty meeting their fundamental expenses with the amount of benefits they are currently receiving. One of the goals of the proposed change is to increase SSI benefits and eliminate the marriage penalty is to alleviate the financial strain that is experienced by individuals and couples who are dependent on their benefits. Therefore, let's go over all of the essential information regarding the enhancement of monthly benefits for SSI recipients. For those who receive SSI benefits, this is some very exciting news. In this section, we are going to go over all of the specifics regarding these advantages. Let's get a comprehension of the current circumstance. Individuals who are currently receiving SSI benefits are eligible for a maximum benefit of nine and fit of $914 per month as of the current year, 2023. On the other hand, the maximum benefit that a married couple can receive throughout the entire month is $1,371. The marriage penalty is the cause of this occurrence. And here is the thing, guys, this provision regarding the marriage penalty has been in effect since 1972, which is quite shocking. Furthermore, when we talk about the difference between $1,371 and $914, we are talking about a difference of $457. In the event that the marriage penalty were not applicable, the couple's social security benefits would be equal to 914 times 2, which would result in a total of $1,828 and $1,371.00. Therefore, this is equivalent to a difference of $457.00. It is possible to consider that one to be a penalty for getting married. The marriage penalty, which has been in effect since 1972, is the cause of this significant difference. To tell you the truth, the monthly payment is $457.00. A change is required in this regard. It is of the utmost importance to remove this marriage penalty, which lowers the benefits that are provided to married people who are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSI. They are currently putting forth a proposal to do away with this marriage penalty. At this very moment, we ought to acknowledge that married couples are entitled to equality. In the Social Security Administration SSI program, the fact that married couples are subject to a penalty creates an unfair disparity between married and unmarried individuals. In reality, it discourages the marriage of a peer who is at risk of losing their SSI benefits or of having their financial assistance reduced significantly. Uh, consequently, the elimination of the marriage penalty would result in the recognition of the equality of all individuals, regardless of whether or not they are married. Advantages are determined by the requirements rather than the status of the relationship. Let us discuss the changes that have been suggested. Initially, there is a bill that is currently being considered in Congress that would increase the Social Security benefits to the level of the federal poverty line. The federal poverty line is currently set at approximately $1,215 per month, and the implementation of this change alone would result in a significant increase in the benefits that are provided to millions upon millions of people who receive SSI. In addition, the removal of the marriage penalty in conjunction with an increase in the poverty line would result in an increase in the maximum benefit that a married couple is eligible to receive approximately $2,430 per month. This is a substantial amount of money. Taking into consideration the benefits you receive on a monthly basis, this would amount to $1,059 each and every month. In comparison to the amount that is currently being received, the beneficiaries are now receiving $1,371. If they would get additional $1,059 in their monthly check, then that would result in about $2,430 on a month. Monthly basis, so that's a quite a significant amount of payment on a monthly basis. That's why it's really important to understand the significance of this tiny little important change. 
Imagine for a moment the effect that these modifications would have on the people who receive SSI benefits. Even if only the benefit increase to the federal poverty line is implemented, this would result in a 33% increase in precinct benefits, which is a quite substantial increase to begin with. Furthermore, the elimination of the marriage penalty would provide an additional boost of more than $1,059 per month. We would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the difficulties that individuals and couples who are living on fixed income benefits continue to face. At the moment, the maximum benefit that married couples are eligible for is approximately $1,371 per month, while the average rent for a single person is approximately $1,300. It is abundantly clear that it is challenging for all of those individuals who receive SSI benefits to rely solely on their fixed income. Because of this, the improvements that are being proposed to increase SSI benefits and get rid of the marriage penalty are dependent on the SSI benefits that they receive as their primary source of income. According to the current benefit amount, a significant number of beneficiaries have been having difficulty meeting their fundamental needs, which include housing, medical care and food. And the Social Security Administration SSI would be brought into line with the actual cost of living if the benefits were increased to the federal poverty line. The beneficiaries who are currently receiving benefits are able to keep up with the rising cost of goods and services as well as inflation. The beneficiaries who frequently have to make difficult choices between necessities would receive some relief if the benefits were increased. Married couples are afforded equality. In the Social Security Administration SSI program, the fact that married couples are subject to a penalty creates an unfair disparity between married and unmarried individuals. Uh, in reality, it discourages the marriage of a peer who is at risk of losing their SSI benefits or of having their financial assistance reduced significantly. Uh, consequently, the elimination of the marriage penalty would result in the recognition of the equality of all individuals, regardless of whether or not they are married. I would say that this will also ensure that the benefits they receive are based on the requirements of the legislation that governs SSI.